in the last video, I promised that we would learn how to add and subtract complex numbers and that we would need to separate in order to do that the real number part from the complex number part. So let's let's practice that. And actually, let's do this. This might be more fun. Let's write our complex number part because we're good at doing that now in different colors. So as you can see, I have uh, two complex numbers that I would like to add together. And both of these complex numbers have a real component and they have an imaginary component. Imaginary component. So in order to add these two numbers, I need to add the real number parts together since 7 plus 8, so it'll be 7 plus 8. And then to that, I will add the imaginary parts. Positive 4i minus 7i. And so it's a lot easier um, to look at them this way and say, well, 7 plus 8 is 15. And uh, that'll be uh, positive 4 minus 7 is a minus 3 I. So my, my solution to this addition is 15 minus 3i. Let's try another one, and this time we don't need to uh, do different colors. That's a negative 5 minus 6i, and to that we will add a negative 7 plus 12i. So again, we want to put our real number parts with our real number parts, so that'll be negative 5 minus 7 and then our imaginary number parts minus 6i with our imaginary number parts. So if you owe me $5, you borrow five, 7 more, you now owe me $12. Minus 6i plus 12i is a plus 6i. You get the hang of it. It's not too difficult. Um, let's try some subtraction. If I take, uh, let's do another color now. <clears throat> if I take 8 plus 3i, and to, from that, I subtract 5 plus 8i. Well, in essence, what I'm doing is I am taking 8 minus a positive is a minus 5. And then I, to that, I will add 3i uh, negative and a positive is a minus 8i. And then at this point, it's just simple arithmetic. 8 minus 5 is 3. Um, plus 3 minus 8 is a minus 5i. Not too shabby. And let's go ahead and do one more, also with subtraction. 5 minus 4i. And from that, we're going to subtract a negative 7 minus 3i. So let's see what that looks like. Again, I want to take my real number parts and put them together. So that'll be a 5 minus a negative 7 is actually plus 7. And that'll be a minus 4i minus a negative 3i would actually be plus 3i. And so I'll get 12 minus 4. You owe me $4. You pay me $3. You still owe me $1 or 12 minus i. So that's uh, addition and subtraction using complex numbers.